the biggest challenge I've ever had was when we did the UK tour of Megadeth. No one in any of those rooms gave a fuck about us. No, they didn't want to either. Like, no one cared. No one wanted to like us. But I loved that challenge, just knowing, like, I'm going to change these people's minds. And I probably failed, but at least I tried. By the way, I'll, I'll never forget in the, the London show, it was at Brixton Academy. There was just one guy down the front, like three rows back from the barrier, right in the centre, just in front of me, just stood like this the whole time. And I mean, for our 30 minute set, he did not take his hand down once. What's... So I just kept like pointing him out. <laughs> so he just kept like... He, he... Just the whole show, he was just like this. And did... did not take his hand down for one second during our entire 30 minute set. So um, do you mean when you walked on, he was already like that? Or he heard like three, he heard like three beats of music and was like... He probably like heard like three beats, yeah. And he was okay. just like, he probably just seen us because this was like what 2013. He probably just thought, yeah, you know, like the old school, like metalheads, like they're quite elitist. And as soon as they see a bunch of young guys on a stage, they're just like, no, nah, I'm not going to like this. I don't even want to try. So I just kept like pointing him out and just saying, this next song is out to our biggest fan, this guy down here. <laughs> and like, just dedicated like every song to him. And I think like that made like loads of other people in the crowd kind of laugh and then start to appreciate it a bit more just because I was making a joke out of it. Because, you know, loads of bands could get proper butthurt about that situation. But okay, what, what can you do? Like, just at least make light of it and have a joke, have a laugh. 